Hey guys, welcome back to some more of my channel update stuff. Hope you guys got a lot out of that last uh, episode, last part, last piece, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, picking up where we left off. The Borderlands 2 LP. Uh, too many F5s. Too, too, too many. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of fly around since I am super admin op owner of this place. And just kind of give you guys flybys a lot of the stuff here. But yeah, Borderlands. I, I don't understand. I thought it was a great game. I, I thought you guys were going to enjoy it a lot more than you have. And so I'm kind of confused what it is about it that has, I don't know, kept you from watching it, turned you away. And as I was going to get into at the end of that last part... I know that for the first nine episodes, like I said, I did up basically zero editing, and I, I do apologize if some of the episodes were, well, crap, or at least not as entertaining as they sh could have been. Uh, at the time, I was really just trying to push and rush to get something out in front of you guys, and to tr kind of try and take advantage of that first week excitement that everyone had for Borderlands 2, because... I mean, when it comes to YouTube, timing is literally everything. Uh, Zion Steel's treehouse that... By the way, does anyone know where Zion Steel is? Zion, are you are you still out there? Um, because your treehouse misses you. And your storeroom and everything. I mean, we spent all that time fixing, what, fixing the griefer damage. It'd be a shame to see this not get finished. <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, I... I just really wanted to get some stuff out to you guys quickly, and the first nine episodes were actually the first two hours of the game that we actually played on that the night that it was actually released. So it was all from the same recording set, and I pretty much just went through and looked at it and said, 20, 25 minutes, perfect. We'll cut it here, find a good ending spot so it wasn't just a straight cut right, like right in the middle of someone's sentence, because... That's kind of annoying. I, I did at least try and take care of that piece. I guess his wolf arm. And I would jump around in the episode and look for anything that was exceptionally boring, but for the most part, if there was uh, some action going on, if we were shooting, if we were talking, if there was storyline, if there was quest, even side quest stuff going on, that it's like, yeah, that's perfect, we can leave that in. But looking at the view counts, I mean, I know the first few episodes always seem to get way more views than the later episodes, but to go from, let's say, I think about a hundred of you checked out episode zero, seventy or so at watched episode one, and then by episode ten, there were about ten of you watching. So, <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I, I just, I would like some feedback from you guys, too, to know what it was between episodes one and ten that drove so many of you away, apparently. Um... Because, to me, as an LPer, I realize that I don't get to decide what people like. I mean, I don't think anyone really gets to decide that. You just, you make your thing and you hope people like it. But it, it's, how do I phrase this? It's something that I've put a lot of time and effort into, and if what I'm doing is wrong, then I'd like to know what I can do to make it right so that my, my time and effort is going into something productive, something worthwhile that I don't feel like I'm wasting my time. Which, honestly, I've kind of felt that way a little bit recently. And something I can kind of segue into from that that I kind of avoided back when I was talking Final Fantasy XIII 2 is that I'm now not quite certain that I actually want to LP the game. Because it's a game that I'd like to play my first time blind. And if I LP it blind, I don't know if you guys are going to enjoy it, because obviously I'm going to be editing it from episode one, uh, as it's not one of those things that has any sort of time rush to it. And it's been so long, I forget whose place this is. But yeah, cool stuff. Uh, that I don't know if there's any way I can turn a blind Final Fantasy or even just to play an RPG game into something exciting, because for me, Final Fantasy games are just are something that I really actually enjoy sitting there with the players got in front of me make, to to play. 
something that I can do. I mean, I enjoy them, so that way I don't miss anything in the game. It, 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 it's there's just those games that I want to experience it all. And so if I'm LPing the game, yet with the players got in front of me, I don't know how many people would even want to watch that if they knew that's what was going on. And I tend to be a pretty honest guy, so I would probably tell everyone that in the very first episode, just to be upfront about it. That, yep, uh, this is me, I'm playing Final Fantasy XIII 2, and by the way, I've got the players got in front of me, so let's go have fun, kind of thing, where, I don't know, and I know blind with a player's guide sounds kind of contradictory, but the, the one... Oh man, I'm never going to get used to that. SMP portals are instantaneous. The, the player's guide that I use, or at least the one I used for 13, the first 13, uh, they did it in such a way that they kind of coached you through the fights, but they didn't reveal anything plot-wise. That nothing that was revealed in the cutscenes was ever discussed, and so I, they do a pretty good job of it, so... I think that they are pretty safe people to use, so that way you don't have to worry about... Wow. Nether laggy as ever. Nice. <laughs> and it's... Oh, no, wait. I was going to say and it's single player. But nope, I'm on the server. I forgot. Yeah, see, that, that I don't like. How are you supposed to walk through a portal? Or maybe it's just something to do with the fact that I'm in creative mode. I don't know. But welcome to Zatch's Island of Awesome. He took me on a tour just a week or two ago when I was last out here. Here we have his wool and sheep farm. It's a really kind of a cool design. Make sure they don't get out. And they're perfectly sorted in a way that the game doesn't seem to glitch them together, which is way nicer than the whole crappy fence deal we used to deal with oh so long ago, I guess. The man loves his silk-touched ice, and he's built a pretty cool thing with it, too. Let's see, where was the entrance? There we go. I, do, I will say it does get pretty dark at night, but he's got all these half slabs here, which is a really nice looking design. I think this is his storeroom. Yeah. Oh, nope. I was going to give him my sapling, and then I remembered that was on the other world. <laughs> Alright, let's see. He's got his chicken farm and a giant chicken. Ah, rendering. Oh my... wow. Yep, this game still lags. <laughs> A lot. Let's see, what was I saying? Final Fantasy XIII 2, and... I might not LP it, although... I don't know. I, I, again, I like your opinion on this stuff, guys. Since I'm pretty much making these videos for you, what would you like? Um, although, I say I'm making them for you, I make them for me, too, because I do enjoy LPing. I mean, I wouldn't be doing this after two years... If I didn't. Uh, the one thought I did have that if I were to LP 13.2 is that... I don't know, the two options I've come up with anyway would be play the game through once myself and then play it again the second time as the LP. Okay, you know what, let's just fly over the plate. That's better. Snow Factory? Oh, no. Looks like one of those uh, bread makers, I think. From Etho, or actually, whoever Etho got it from, or refined the design from. I don't know. I don't really follow so much of that anymore. Which is not entirely true. I do still watch Etho and Z still on Minecraft and stuff, but. Sorry about that. I had a massive cough coming. I guess I've been talking for a while. I believe Zash told me this was his cobble warehouse. Or I guess the stone warehouse. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, that would be option one for the Final Fantasy XIII LP. The other option would be I would play a few hours and I would keep two saves running. I'd play a few hours by myself, blind, and then I would go and 
redo everything I had just done. Oh, right, this. Yeah, the, the infinite village spawner, I believe. <laughs> Not the nicest sound in the world. Let's see, did he actually end up tearing this down? I think he had his mob tower, or whatever, all the way up here. Looks like it's still here. Yep, still there. Although he said he's been having trouble with the rates. That it's not anywhere near as efficient as it used to be, and... I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions for him, be sure to leave them in the comments. As I'm sur sure Zatch would love to have some help with why things aren't quite working like they used to. And this is something I didn't know existed in the game. A iron golem, golem factory. That you've got villagers here on the sides, and when zombies come to get them, it spawns golems. Interesting fact concept. But yeah, th those would be the two options I could think of for doing Final Fantasy XIII 2. And at the moment, I haven't decided which one I'd be more comfortable doing, because as much as I really do enjoy Final Fantasy XIII, the first one, Playing it a second time, I don't know, I I tend to be the kind of guy who hates reruns. So, like, doing something again, doing something for a second time, it sometimes feels like, I don't know, a waste of time. That, you know, I, I already did it once, it was great, I don't need to do it a second time. Uh, he said he had his ice tray out here somewhere, so I'm trying to fly over to that. And as, as much fun as I have had with the Final Fantasy XIII LP, it doesn't feel like one of those situations where I'm wasting my time, but... It's getting started, getting over that initial... But you're doing it a second time? But you already did it, you don't need to do it again. So... I don't know, I, I would like to do Final Fantasy XIII too. I mean, I'm definitely going to play it as soon as I finish the XIII one LP. We shall see. Mm, I'd say no promises, but there there will definitely be more to come after, even if I don't end up LPing the game. Uh, I've got a huge list of possibilities in front of me right now that you won't have to worry about there being videos from me. Just, you know, the more Minecraft ones. <laughs> Let's see if I can... Yeah. Whoa. Huh. I could have sworn this went... somewhere. Mm, possibly have the wrong tunnel. Oh, that's what that is. Convenient. Uh, let's see. I've actually, like usual, have a list in front of me of things I've been wanting to talk about in this update video since it's been so long. Uh, the next thing on my list is kind of related to some of the, the Borderlands 2 stuff I was just talking about. And just kind of wanted to get, I don't know, almost a dialogue started with you guys. Kind of understand what it is about my videos that you do like. Oh god, this village sheep. This is going to be amusing and noisy, so I'll be turning it down for you guys. <clears throat> um... What was I just saying? It's literally madness out here. Someone went and built one of these up in the sky. Although, I believe there's just the one guy in here now, so... Hopefully the infinite spawning will stop now. Possibly. I don't actually know how any of this works anymore. It's been so damn long since I played the game. Um, so, because of... Due to the brain fart. Kill trap 3 emergency. What? Um, hmm. I have no idea what that is. Okay. Yeah, anyway, 
Thanks to the brain fart. I'll just start again. Crazy zombies. I kind of want to just kind of get... Kind of, just kind of. <laughs> want to get a dialogue going with you guys. Try and find out... What it is about the videos that I make that you guys really like. So I can do more of that and less of what you don't like. Ah, <laughs> uh, here lies Borath. May he rest in peace. <sighs> funny, funny. Because as much as I enjoy making the videos, it when it comes to editing... I don't know, just based on my track record of these last two years, I seem to be having a hard time finding out what it is that makes good videos. Or maybe not, maybe it's just a lack of exposure. Which is also something else I would kind of like to get you guys help with. That if you have loved every video I've put out and you don't see anything wrong with any of them, then something I would like to have your help with is, you know, like I used to say in my Minecraft videos, Spread the word. Tell your friends. Uh, get the word out. If you enjoy what you're seeing here, tell someone about it. And, you know, tell your friends. And I know I've had some people in the past tell me that, well, I don't really have any friends at school or anywhere that... What the... Is this a zombie in full diamond armor? Or... It's a skeleton in full butter armor. You crazy! What you doing? Your butter armor. That doesn't help. You... You know what? You are just silly. You are crazy. And you dropped absolutely nothing. Lovely. But yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry if this video has been a little random. I, I wanted to have something in the background while I talked that wasn't so boring that it wasn't just me talking. Hopefully I've not completely screwed up that idea by sidetracking myself all the time. The NPCs can go through portals now. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. But yeah. Uh, yeah, people have told me in the past that they don't really have any friends at school or wherever that really would be interested in some of the videos I put out, so they're not really sure who they could tell, but maybe they know some people online and they might try and help out there, so... I will say to you guys the same thing that I told them. If you don't really know anyone in real life, or anyone you think that would be interested in this kind of stuff in real life, then there's always online. There's places you can go and talk about it. There's countless forums for this kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, Reddit, for one, is a massive one that just allows all kinds of stuff. That It would mean a lot to me if people were out there talking about my videos that... I don't know, to me it just doesn't quite feel right for me to be the one out posting that stuff, because of course I want people to come see my videos, but if one of you were to post the link, all of a sudden it's got so much more weight that, hey, you know, this is good stuff, you should check it out. You know, I just realized we are still super bright. So, yeah, I don't know if you guys would be comfortable with that or not, but it's just something that would be would mean a lot to me and would really kind of help this channel grow, because it, it's still something I would like to see happen. I would like to have as many people watching my stuff as possible. I, I, I don't know if that sounds in any way negative, but I, I think it's just kind of the, the truth behind almost anyone who starts a YouTube channel is... You do it because you want people to watch it. I mean, if you didn't want anyone to watch it, why would you upload it onto the internet for the whole world to see? And, I don't know, I think it's just something that you guys could really help me out with, and I would love it if you could. Because there's nothing better than word of mouth when it comes to getting the word out about something. About bringing attention to something. I mean, that's why so many of the Kickstarters that work, work. Why so many of the and I guess grassroots movements work. Because people get out and they're talking about it. and Yeah. But if, like I said, you're uncomfortable doing any of that, then as much as I don't find them in, of importance and how much I hate to even ask for them, 
just leave a like on the videos that you do enjoy. I'm not saying leave a like on all the videos, just the ones you like. You actually do like. Uh, apparently this place is now useless until I turn this into mycelium. But my old mushroom grow room. This is my cave base, by the way. Um, arrow factory. As you can hear. <laughs> Two cave spider spawners. With... As you guys saw in here, this was the original water staircase like Etho built. Does not work in SMP, so I just turned it into a massive fall trap. So yes, like I said, as much as I don't like asking for them, and as little as I find them to really be worth something, YouTube and others really do think of them as important, because the way YouTube does their st statistics, as I understand it, the more likes a video has, the more likely it's re it's going to show h higher in search results, or in recommendation results, which I know the tags play a lot into that too, but really it's... If people like a video, then others will probably like the video, and it just kind of snowballs from there kind of thing. So, this whole conversation about helping me out on the channel has really made me uncomfortable, because I, I, I don't know, I'm the kind of person who hates asking for help, but it's gotten to the point where I feel that if another year goes by and my channel goes nowhere... It, I'm going to kind of need to take it as a sign that maybe I don't really have what it takes, maybe I don't know what I'm doing, maybe YouTube's not for me. And I don't want that to be the case, and I hope you guys don't either. And don't think of this as any sort of ultimatum of make my channel grow or I quit. I mean, that, that's not at all what I'm trying to put across here. It's just, I want to know that you guys care about what I do as much as I care about what I do and get as much enjoyment out of it as I do, and... Yeah. I, I hope I put, got my point across. Um, like I said, it's kind of an uncomfortable subject for me. But... I guess we should move on now. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of how the thing works. Just a straight drop trap, far enough that it's supposed to leave them with half a heart to one heart, unless some update has changed the amount of health they have, who knows. Those crazy people at Mojang, eh, who knows what they're thinking. <laughs> uh, let's see, next on the list... Yep, talked about Kaizo, talked about Borderlands, talked about Final Fantasy, talked about the uncomfortable stuff, talked about the original Season 2 plans, talked about Reddit and forums and whatnot. We've toured the server. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, there is one person I would like to go back to, as I believe he is the one person LPing from the server. Oh, you guys <laughs> plan around with frames and... Ha ha. <laughs> I wonder how many people that's going to make jealous. Probably none since I did it in creative, but you know. I've got two of them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Black Flame still LPs from the server. Last I checked. So... I think I remember where his portal's at. I don't think it's too far. I wanted to kind of show off his place since I haven't looked at it in a while. Uh, this should be Zion's. Oh, I remember where his stuff's at. We made the tunnel back here. When did that get blown up? Mm, whatever. <laughs> Mm, yeah, tour server. Um, I guess kind of going back to what I was talking about. Or, you know, actually, it's been, I think, another 30 minutes. Can't believe I had this much to talk about. Oh, whoops, I just literally ran into the first portal I saw. Didn't even read whose name was on it. <laughs> Way to go, Merrick. Yes, yes. Um. Um. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I think it's actually been another 30 minutes, so I think I'm going to take another break, and I'll see you guys in the next part. I really didn't think that I had over an hour's worth of stuff to talk about, but apparently I do. And again, to keep you guys from being too terribly bored with me just talking and 
running amok. Uh, we'll pick up with Black Flame's place in the next episode. Episode. <laughs> so used to doing LPs here. Uh, but yeah, see you guys.